Welcome to today's video everybody. This video will be concerning the speedometer on this 87 Suzuki Samurai. These things are extremely easy to work on. So, basically, excuse the mess. Um, now, your speedometer cable, this, like I said, these things are really easy to work on. So, you have your four, four hex, I think they're hex, Allen key, whichever one they are. Um, bolts that take off just that little section right here. Now you have your hazard indicator button right there that you don't want to break off. So I've read that um, there's two ways. One, you can pop that off and get to the bolt right there. I don't want to mess with the steering and, and alignment or anything like that. So hold on. There we go. So now it's on that. Um, the other way is to apparently you can drop the steering wheel with two bolts underneath here. I'm going to look for those and figure out how to um, drop it down to the seat. And uh, we'll take it from there. But your basic, that's your speedometer cable, and it goes up into the uh, dash and down, and down through the firewall right there. So, not firewall, but um, the frame, obviously. But there you go, so that's your speedometer cable. It hooks up to the back of the trans uh, transfer case. Oh, can I see it? I don't want the door slamming on my head, but. Anyway, it's up underneath there, but we'll get to it in a little bit. So for now, I'm just going to drop the steering wheel and I'll show how that's done in just a minute. So I'm assuming that's what these two are right up in here. There's one right here. And then there's one behind this cable right there. So I'm assuming that those, those are what allow this thing to drop. So I'm gonna take them off and see what happens. Okay, so each one of these had blue Loctite on them. Um, I was able to get them both out from underneath there, and uh, my steering wheel doesn't drop to the floor, but it does drop a little bit to where this was able to come out and not damage the uh, a little oh, was it hazard light thing. So now I'm about to pull the cable right there off, fish the new one up, and attach it. So that's how you do it. Um, I have no idea how you get this to drop to the steer or to the uh, seat, but I did take out two uh, big ass screws. One of them was actually stripped to hell. I do believe that is that one. Yep, that one's pretty pretty stripped out. The other one was good, not bad at all. Yeah, so, see, so that one was good, but had to use a giant pry or was it a um, screwdriver with a. Uh, was it vice grips attached to the end to, to rotate it for leverage plus PV blaster for that one. So one of them came off easy, the other one would just not come off. So just letting everybody know what I had to do. Okay, it's now been removed. I just used a little screwdriver to help those clips get along off that cylinder. And I'm um, going to start pulling it down through the dash, obviously. You can see coming down. And then, uh, you know, I have to make way for some wires, but then it's going to come through right here Down through the firewall right here down into the, uh, the transfer case and so um, I should unbolt it from the transfer case I'll do that Okay, so I fed the uh, new line up through The same area that it was you Just got to push that back and you can see there's the new one right there. I haven't attached it to the uh, circle yet I'm going to unattach the uh, original from the transfer case feed it back throughout and then feed the new one through attach that one and then attach this one last so uh, I'll show you how it goes there's the cable comes down into the side of the transfer case right here next to the rear of the transmission that right there so I'm just gonna remove this screw right here and it'll loosen it and then take it out this 10 millimeter bolt is what lets loose the very end of the uh, of the sensor right there the end right there it's just this one and that's it. You just loosen this up, pretty much take it out, and that slides right out. And then slide the new one back in, and then retighten this down. Just snug, not too tight. Just snug. 
So this is at the end of the uh, cable that goes to the transmission side. It's easier to pull this out and attach it to the actual accepting end of that inside the transmission and then slide the sheathing over and snug into the transmission, or it was a transfer case. Then just trying to slide the whole thing in with this pushed snug against it and then you trying to figure out, well, where is it, where is it, you know what I mean? So. This is probably the reason why ours didn't work. This was busted off the cable. See the cable is still, you know, it was busted off. So this one is still attached. It's already uh, inside the uh, transfer case. Um, gonna do the next part. So just make sure that this aligns with the little blade-like connector on the inside. So you just slide it out a little bit, hook them together, slide the sheathing over and you know boot it button it in and then you're ready to go on the other side after you've screwed down that 10 millimeter so so i clipped it to the back like i said my steering wheel only moves this much now that those bolts have been undone but it's enough to allow this to get back on it and about to button it up and see if it all works Works.